Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here, and YCS Hartford just wrapped up. Now we're going to be going through the top breakdown from top 32 to top 4, and let's take a look at what there is. So in the top 32, we had Tenny Sword Soul with 7 of them, 7 punk versions being Punk Synchro, 3 Adventurer, 2 Therian, 6 Branded being 4 Despia, and 2 Eldlich, 3 Flundries being Flundries. Then we have three Sky Strikers being one Adventurer, two Drytron, one Adagnister, one Dragon Link, one Adventurer. Dragon Link, make that. The one ABC Adventurer, most likely with Therian, and one DDD. Then we go down into the top 16 with five Punk Adventurer, three Flundries, two Branded Despia, two Sky Strikers, two Tanny Sword Soul, and two Drytron. This format is super diverse and I really like it. Seeing Sky Strikers in the top decks is cool, but I don't really enjoy its presence being there because I was, I've never been a fan of Sky Strikers myself. Now let's get into the top eight. We have two Punk Adventure, two Sky Strikers, one Tinny Sword Soul, Drytron Flundries, and Branded Despia. Now overall, this is the normal conversion rate. With a lot of decks being with more than two, cutting in half, cutting in half until they just completely get wiped out. Now, this is a top eight that I expected to see, but I didn't see only having one Sword Soul and one Branded Despia deck. Now, let's get into the top four, which is one Sky Striker, one Tinny Sword Soul, one Tritron, and one Branded Despia. This is kind of just like. Two 2021, 2022 decks, a 2018, and a 2021 deck. Well, two 2021 decks, kind of. But we have a deck from each year being 2018, 2020, 2021, and 2022. This is the most diverse of years that this game has ever seen because seeing all four of these decks together means that the game's in a pretty good state outside of a few cards that we saw each of these decks play in the top cut of other decks because we also do have the first place list which is mystic mine sky striker with the artifact package in the side deck so let's go through card by card and let's see what our lovely friend here is running this is also the list that our friend if i can find it we have a champion po jing from australia took first place with sky strikers with over 1200 competitive which was 1248 and he ran this deck sky striker mystic mine so we have three Ash Blossom and three Valor and three Imperm for the hand traps. So that's our standard hand trap lineup for this format. Ash, Valor, Imperm. Many decks are playing that. And I feel like those are the three hand traps that pretty much anyone should be playing. Then we have also two Ray, no, three Ray, two Rose. This is a standard lineup for Sky Strikers if you're running more of the Mystic Mind variant. So that's actually pretty good. We have three Demise of the Lands. It's another form of the whole entire Mystic Mine also along with... Um, it's just another copy of Terraforming. So you are essentially running seven copies of the card, which is nuts. And then we also have the three Mystic Mind. This card needs to go. We have a lot of funny stuff going on with it because if I show you the a feature match that happened with Poe oh, real quick, as we can see, this is the feature match. We see draw pass, draw pass. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 turns of Mystic Mind being face up. 
29 turns of Mystic Mind being faced up, and this card is still legal after four years. This card I don't think should be legal at all because of what toxicity it brings to the game. Then we have two Pot of Prosperity, one Reinforcement of the Army, one Area Zero, double Afterburners, one Hornet Drone, one Shark Cannon, triple Widow Anchor, one Multi Roll, one Engage, and one Terraforming. Then for the traps, we have three D barrier, of course, three imperm, and the three trap trick. Now for the side deck, we have one artifact scythe, two ghost ogre, and two Nibiru, one cosmic cyclone, one jamming waves, double twin twister, triple artifact sanctum, triple evenly matched. And then for the extra deck, we have one axis code talker, one halk of fibrex, one dark the dark charmer gloomy, one nightmare unicorn, one Selene, the queen of the masters magicians. Double Hayate, Triple Kagari, One Kaina, Triple Shizuku, and One Zek. Or Zeke. So this is the champions list. And this is what many people are confirming. So this is going to be fun. For the very first event, the very first YCCS of the format, and along with many other nationals happening right now, there's going to be a lot of things to dig for, but... It was it was great watching, but a lot of the games lasted about five to ten minutes. But anyways, I've been Boltzfeder. I hope you guys did enjoy, and see you guys in the next video.